girl breakfast today. Ah! Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I gotta start being a good YouTuber and telling y'all to subscribe if I actually ever want to hit a million subscribers. As you guys can see at the start of this vlog, we just been sprucing up around the house. I've been doing laundry all day. Y'all see me cleaning up a little bit in the kitchen, vacuuming, stuff like that. Um, my mom came into town. We'll talk about that in a second. And then as you guys can see, I just finished putting some fresh sheets on the bed. And y'all already know us too. We got a sponsorship and it's from Brooklyn and y'all know the only sheets on my bed are Brooklyn and major shout out to Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's video and for sponsoring me always like Brooklyn and works with me a lot and we absolutely love a hoochie sponsor and appreciate it so very much. Y'all don't know about Brooklyn and that you've been up under a rock. I don't know where you've been. You couldn't have been watching me. But Brooklyn Inn makes beautiful luxury sheets and let me tell you something investing in your sheets will be the best thing you ever do I know it seems like such an afterthought, but trust me Invest in your sheets. It makes your sleep so much better. It makes your space look so much better They feel so much better and not only do their sheets feel and look gorgeous, but they hold up as well I have so many like I have a lot of different sheets from Brooklyn Inn that I alternate through but I've had them for years Still a great quality. Love them. They're perfect. They're beautiful. They're stunning. They feel good. Rude. Somebody texting me while I'm trying to talk to y'all. With it getting so cold outside, I could not wait to put these fresh sheets on. It's Monday. I say, yeah, nice fresh start of the week with some fresh sheets on the bed. Like I said, I have a couple of different sheet sets from um, Brooklyn. And mine are in their classic white color. This particular sheet set that I have on my bed is their Lux Hardcore Bundle Set. Now listen. Brooklyn Inn has made it so much easier for you guys. You'll save 25% by getting bundles rather than buying individual items. So then you have a whole perfect sheet set. So this particular set comes with their core sheet set, um, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. So pretty much the whole shebang, the whole setup. All right there, easy peasy, one click. Y'all see on the side screen. You have so many different colors to choose from. Also, if you're into any of their seasonal colors, make sure you get those. They go really, really quick. Right now, Brooklyn Inn is having their Black Friday sale until November 29th, where you can get everything on their website for 20% off. And not only that, but then you can combine it with the discount from the Hardcore Bundle set. I mean, it just makes sense. You should get, you, you should just do it. Just guide it. So of course, major, major shout out to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring today's video. And make sure y'all check down in the description bar to click the link and shop the Brooklyn Inn Black Friday sale and get you some fire sheets as well. Now what I'm about to do, I have some laundry going in my washer and dryer. It's actually really late y'all, it's 7.09. Um, I'm about to actually get up and kind of get myself together a little bit because we're meeting Kayla for dinner. Um, y'all know I've been traveling so much, I actually get on a plane tomorrow. Hence why this is also a mini vlog. The mini vlogs still be kind of long though, so... You know, my mini vlog is like a normal person's long vlog. So there's that. Anyways, we are getting on a plane tomorrow. So that's also why I'm like refreshing the house, trying to get everything sort of neat, sort of together. Um, I'm doing my laundry because y'all, oh... 
I didn't even realize I have a lot of clothes and I didn't even realize it because girl there ain't no way I have not done laundry I'm about to sound real dirty but I don't even care I ain't been home so let's just get something straight the month of October I was not home so I had a month's worth of laundry and I still have tons of clothes like I didn't have to do laundry I just was like this is really getting out of hand like I need to do my laundry so I'm washing all my clothes and I want to pull an all-nighter or at least a kind of all-nighter and like put my clothes up go through them at least a little bit at least a little bit uh because i also have to pack so we just have a lot going on so i'm gonna go get ready for dinner and we'll go do that and then i'll talk to y'all in a minute hey y'all so it's a little bit of time later i went and had dinner with kayla i didn't really vlog because we were catching up um kayla is moving it's just so much going on but we're back home i'm so exhausted but I just have so much to do y'all so I'm like I'm like okay I'm gonna stay up till midnight do some laundry like fold up my clothes like go through it at least organize it pull things out that I think I'll want to wear on my trip or whatever so I'm gonna order some kombucha on GoPuff and do this I told myself like it'll be bearable because Real Housewives of Potomac premiered last night. I totally missed it. So I'm like, mm, well, at least I can watch an episode. Um, you know, try to keep myself up. Because, y'all, I'm so sleepy. I can't. I'm good. I'm tired. I really wanted to um, try the Issa Rae um, Prosecco that I got. But I'm not going to do that. Because I know for a fact I'm definitely not going to get nothing done if I do that. So... I'm gonna keep it cute. We're gonna keep it cute. So. I lied, y'all. I can't do it. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm just going to go to bed and I'm just going to get up at 5 a.m. And then I feel like I'll finish laundry from 5 to 7. Start packing from 7 to about 9.30. Um, we have a wax appointment at 10. I have to go to Miss Joyce and pick up some stuff from her. Um, I need to go to the mall. I need to get belts. Um, and I think that's everything. We got a lot to do, child, but I'm exhausted. Like, I'm literally sitting here, like, trying to muster up the energy, and I'm like, I can't. I literally can't do it. So, I'm going to bed. Good night. I'm going to lay in my nice, fresh sheets from Brooklyn in. Peace out, A-Town down. Good morning. Who child. I just had the remote. Y'all, I literally... How I lose a remote? I just had it in my hand. I just put the TV on before I turned the camera on. It's moving. Why would I put it on this? Oh, it's on a scary movie now. On its own. What the hell? Oh, I'm sitting on it. Stupid. I had started watching Real Housewives of Potomac last night before bed. Girl, I fell asleep. I started sober. Let me tell y'all something. Robin is out of her mind. This man said to her, Yeah, I'm a little too friendly. Okay, so stop. We was married for how many years and you cheated on me? You ain't learned how to not be friendly yet? Lord. And then gonna say, Yeah, you know, she a real attractive girl. Who? You talking about me, right? Who's attractive? If if that I feel like if I were Robin in that position, my self-esteem would be shot. For my husband to sit here and tell me, after he cheated on me, he ain't learned a lesson of being too friendly yet. Number one, are you an idiot? Number two, you gonna sit here and tell me this woman is attractive? It's Robin going, yeah, like people say we look alike. I don't know what this young lady looks like. I'm actually about to look her up. Because Robin, I need you to be so quick for real. And the way that Juan just like skipped over it. If you guys don't watch Real Housewives of Potomac, you're probably like, what are you talking about? I will. I don't know. 
what the girl looked like. I can't find. I'm, I'm not going to be digging that hard. I did a simple Google search. It ain't bringing up photos. It is what it is. So I'm going to watch this and sort my laundry out. We're not probably going to like finish it, but at least I can sort it out and like be able to see my things. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to do this until about for about an hour. Then we're going to pack. So, yeah. I need to rewind. And then Ashley going on vacations with that man, her husband still, because it's not her ex. Girl, everybody, I can't, I can't talk about nobody in no relationship, but y'all putting it on TV for me to talk about. I didn't go looking for this. I don't believe in that. But y'all putting it on TV for me to watch and to digest, and it is crazy. Nothing and then you have people almost like rejoicing because you lost your job because they think that you can lights, they want clicks. I ain't giving this particular story energy. We, we focus on it. Pray, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. I finished going through all my clothes. This is all of my loungewear that like gets hung up on a hanger. I'm not hanging my clothes up. Um, so yeah, that's just gonna have to stay right here on his bed. So now we gotta pack. This is what is about to take up some time. And we have a wax appointment at 10. So I have to be able to finish packing, take a shower, get my coochie real clean. So when she up in there, you know. Um, and then we still have to go to Miss Joyce, to the mall back here pack up those things that i get and then call a car and go so we got a lot to do so let's just get to it so i just looked at the itinerary right and i wrote it down in my notes so i have one lunch okay i'm sorry two lunches two lunch outfits that i need to plan plan for so two lunch one has to be cream tan cream nude or brown I have one, two, three, four dinners. One more casual because it's a cooking class. Like active activity, like hiking. We need one casual shopping fit and then one workshop fit and then one breakfast fit because the other breakfast is, I feel like I can come as is. Okay. So, it was so much. Okay, so let me show you guys the outfits that I know for sure I want to wear. Okay, so I know for a fact on my workshop day, which is when I'm speaking, I want to wear this outfit from Andrea Ayama. It's these really pretty nude pants, right? And then I have this like button up top that I want to like tuck into it. It's giving like a little bit professional, but like cute. Mm -hmm. So this, but I don't know what accessories, like what shoes or bag I want to carry with this just yet. So I'll have to figure that out. But I know for sure this. So I have that outfit. So there's workshop outfit. Check. I'm going to put this over here, I guess. So workshop. Check. Um, so like I said, we have four dinners. Um, I know for sure for one of the dinners, I want to wear this. Um, jumpsuit from Andrea Ayama um, for this trip I tried to do a lot of black owned designers um, just because obviously um, I'm going to be in Morocco which is in Africa and then obviously the trip that we're on although it's not specifically for black women like it's not it's for it's the colored girl but um, as a black person I'm here for it so I really wanted to tap into that so anywho oh this comes unbuttoned oh I see I see. I didn't know that. Okay, so this is the jumpsuit. It doesn't look like much sitting right here, but trust me, on. So stunning. So stunning. So that's one dinner. I don't know what accessories I'm going to wear with this either, but we'll figure it out. It's probably going to be tans, browns, you know, somewhere in that category. Next, for shopping, like casual shopping day, I feel like I want to wear this two-piece set from Helsa, but I need another black belt to go with it. I got this one from Zara, but I don't know, child. So we'll put this here. Watch out, Rosanna. I need the space on the bed, sister. 
Okay, so there's that. For another dinner, I have this really, really over the top. This is a Norma Kamali dress. It's like brown, slinky, really like just over the top. So I'm going to pack this. I think I'm going to wear this to the welcome lunch. So this is also from Andrea Ayama. It's just a jumpsuit. Um, yeah, so I think I'll wear this. And what would I wear to the felt farewell lunch? Okay. So I have my shopping fit, one lunch fit. I also have this like chartreuse colored set that I want to wear with brown. I know for sure I want to do brown accessories with this. Um, so I'm just gonna pack it. I don't I don't know. At this point, honestly, I don't even think I'm packing for categories or days. I'm just gonna make sure I have enough clothes and we're just gonna have to rotate it around. Um, I'm going to bring this oh my god it's so snagged Ugh, I hate that it's pilling like this it's such a cute outfit though this is from Colt Gaia um, I wore this when I went to Grenada um, and I haven't gotten to wear it since but I feel like this is so perfect and I didn't get any pictures in it when I wore it so um, it's these like nice pants and it has like a matching top with the fringe on it but y'all look I don't know if y'all can see like all the pilling on it girl and this would be nice at night because it is going to be a little cooler in the evenings so we have that i could also wear that to lunch or something i also have this dress i'm just going to bring a couple like random dresses like i could also wear this to lunch i got this at a boutique um on instagram is there a tag yes this is the boutique that i got this from also a black owned boutique I'll bring this as like a casual dress to this from Kogaya to wear to like a lunch or a breakfast or just anything. I have this Zara skirt that I just got yesterday um, that I think will look really pretty uh, with a nice top. I just don't know what top I want to wear just yet. I'm really just packing a bunch of stuff to be completely honest. I'm bringing this Odd Muse jumpsuit because I feel like I could also wear this to the farewell lunch. Um, and that would be really pretty. So I'm going to bring it. I can also wear this to some dinners or just anything. So that's going to come. Um, I'm also going to bring this Colt Gaia dress. Again, could wear this to the farewell um, lunch. It's nice, flowy, really pretty. I just want to make sure I have options, you guys. So don't judge my suitcase. It's, she's she's, she's going to be thick, okay? We're going to have a lot of stuff packed in here. Alright y'all, so it's time to put everything in the suitcase. Um, this is my first time using my new B is suitcase, or I'm sorry, Bays. It's not pronounced B is. Um, so yeah, uh, I have pretty much everything ready except for shoes and bags. So we're pushing it on time. I think it's like 8.30. I need to start getting ready for my appointment in about 30 minutes. So in the meantime though, I wanted to go ahead and get majority of the things that I do have packed up packed that aren't closed so like my toiletries that you guys just see me pack up I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the base of the suitcase I always put my clothes in this part like the zippy part um and yeah so because I'm doing multiple locations so it's complicated I have my tripods I bring one for lights one for my phone um, I'm gonna bring the one that you guys are on and then I have my handheld one as well um, but you guys will be on the handheld so um, yeah so boom got that then I have jewelry which will go in here um, I have hair products and hair stuff um, which is here 
I have makeup and makeup brushes. I have my air wrap and then I have my flat iron. Okay, wait, this is pretty delicious. I have two pairs of sunglasses that I'm also gonna put in here. Um, and then so here, this is my drone and a bunch of different cameras and stuff, but I can't pack this in my checked luggage. This has to go in my carry-on. Um, and then for clothes, the only other thing that I do have packed are like my undies and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay that in here. I have more packing cubes. Um, this is gonna go my shower cap can go in there but this is also gonna go in my carry-on luggage this is like my hair wraps and stuff like that y'all know I like to tie my hair up while I'm on my flight um dang I don't know how I want to do these clothes because I don't know what shoes and stuff I'm wearing ah! but we've had to go get this wax I'm gonna bring my little camera so I can vlog uh, while I'm getting waxed and then like while I'm shopping and stuff because y'all know I never be vlogging when I'm in stores <gasps> Oh, I almost forgot my return. I have a return to take to lululemon. I bought the like half zip with the gold zipper I don't like it. So I'm taking it back um, So yeah, I'm so thirsty. Ugh, I want to go get a coffee, but I don't have time. We'll have to do it after the appointment but luckily, like, all my stuff is pretty packed. So, we're in good shape. It's not cold at all outside. Let's go, y'all. Y'all, why I just get in the car? And y'all know how I went to dinner with Kayla last night, right? I got a freaking parking ticket. And I didn't see it last night. Y'all, this parking ticket is $75. Since when were parking tickets $75? Are you kidding? Parking tickets used to be 15, 25, maybe 35, $75 for a first time? For a general parking violation? Officer Gil Strat. Go go find a go find something else to do. <sighs> now I gotta pay this damn parking ticket. We're probably gonna uh, actually be go getting there like really early. So maybe there will be a coffee shop or like somewhere that I can grab a tea or like maybe like a juice shot or something. Okay, well I got here way earlier than I planned, but there was like a lot of traffic. So I didn't go try to find coffee because I was like, uh-uh, I'm not gonna be late to my appointment. While I'm waiting. I'm going to try to find some coffee shop near here. I did all that about that Lululemon. And I sure as hell left it at the house. God, dog. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Okay, so there's a bunch of coffee over here. Perk coffee? That sounds wild. Perk. Okay. All right, so we're going to go to Perk Coffee. They open right now. They're two minutes from here. So we'll go there. Let me go on their website and kind of browse the menu. Do they have pastries? I need breakfast. Choose your vibe. So this is like a, def a different type of coffee shop, but I kind of want to try it. So it says choose your vibe. Mild, wild, or decaf. Uh, I definitely am going to go wild. <laughs> Listen, I need all of the energy that I can get, okay? Uh, then you choose your milk, dairy or oat. Oh, they only have oat milk? Suddenly I'm not going. I actually feel like crying. Okay, I'll just try it. But when I get there, I'm going to ask if they have almond milk. Because why would you only have oat milk or dairy milk? Oat milk is the worst. You know what? I'm not even going to go there because I know how y'all like to tussle about y'all oat milk. You oat milk drinkers are very passionate. Hot or cold? Okay. They have drip, flash, manual brew, the flight, espresso, cortada, cappuccino, and a latte. Then they have signature beverages, a good times latte, which is vanilla lavender and habanero sugar. Sounds insane. Okay, y'all a little funky over here. Let me see what I like. Okay, good times shake. Oh, I don't want to shake. Condor mo mocha latte with condor chocolate. 
my morning jacket is a latte with vanilla black walnut walnut bitters and spices that sounds good i think i'm gonna try the morning jacket yeah i like their like fun funky menu they have lox um egg and cheese bagel bagel with cream cheese a granola bowl which is what i'm gonna get um and they have like waffles hmm okay this sounds fun it'll be a little adventure uh we'll check that out here we go and just like that she's back she's back and bald <sighs> trying to run across the street because i'm jaywalking mm. okay now let's go to perk coffee that literally took less than 10 minutes y'all it's 10 14 my appointment was at 10 so let's go to this coffee shop and see what's tea okay so there was no parking on the street so i just parked here at this like woodwork place and it says that they'll tow me but i just feel like i will not be in here that long for you to be able to get a tow truck onto my vehicle so i'm taking my chances all right let go Okay, so we got the coffee. First of all, the coffee shop was so cute. Um, very kind. The staff was really, really nice. The young lady, she was a one-woman show. Um, she talked to me a little bit. I asked her, I was like, you know, like, how long have you been a barista? She was letting me know, like, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, so I got the jacket or whatever. Um, morning jacket. I don't know. Something jacket. Um, so, let's see. And I got it with oat milk. Hmm. that's a good latte i'm not gonna hold on i don't even like oat milk i can taste that it's oat milk but it's not a big deal oat milk makes it a lot thicker too i don't like thick beverages unless it's like a smoothie and even then mm -mm. but okay i'm feeling it okay we got a good coffee awesome okay so let's go home get my lululemon stuff we need to take that to lulu to return then i have some watches i need to get sized um so i need to take those to like a watch place um and then um i need to go to the mall and then we have to go to miss joyce um now that i think about it i think we're like making good time i should be good for my flight my flight's at 5 p.m um so i think i think we're we're on track for what we need to be doing girl breakfast today ah Sorry, it was a pothole. I just didn't want to hit that. Mm. Let's get in here. Um, so first stop, I got my Lulu stuff to return. See, I ordered this online. Hold on. I left my coffee in the car because I feel like I'm not going to be in here very long. Um, but yeah, I ordered this online because I seen Courtney on TikTok. Um, she got this espresso brown set from Lulu and it was with this half zip and it had the gold zipper and I was like oh that's that really really nice. cute um, let me try it but I don't know it was something about the way it fit on me it just wasn't giving so I ended up getting the soft stream top that I have on right now in the espresso color to wear with it to wear with the matching leggings instead so I'm gonna return the half zip because I know I like it and it's a hundred dollars like I'm on my money back <laughs> I'm supposed to be just returning I'm not supposed to be buying anything and yet here we are how you doing? hey good how are you guys good. yeah I actually had a return and then of course I wasn't supposed to be buying nothing so I'm, I'm a peek at the sale rack and then I'm going to the register <laughs> <laughs> okay i made my return i did end up getting that shirt but i still got money back so i didn't spend any money anywho okay so now i'm gonna go drop my watches off there is this place that i know that i've taken a watch to before but i can't remember what it's called hi um do you guys um resize watches 
We do. Perfect. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Twelve ninety five. All right. Lego. I can't really see me, but the watches that I got are from this brand called Brita. I think I may have showed these to you guys. I'm not sure yet, but I got two of them. I got a silver and a gold. Um, they look like this. Just really cute. Come on now, camera. Just really cute watches, but I need the links taken out of them. So, okay. Yeah, so let's go do this really quick. And yeah, I actually don't think I'm going to take you guys in to do this because it's just a lot going on. So I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Just like that, the watches have been sized to perfection. So now we're going to head to Saks to do my last return. There's a stop sign there. So I don't know if you're going to stop or not, but I'm going to go. So yeah, now we can head to Saks, do my return get belts i need a cognac like a brown belt and then i would like to get another black belt but we'll see oh left is quicker okay okay my bad my bad i thought i was going to the right that's so unnecessary lady i really want to run this red light to be oh well, never mind Turn. i <laughs> who the fuck is honking the light just turned these people listen listen i don't know who... whoa let me relax it's really not that serious but like why would you honk it the light just turned green if you were in that much of a rush you should have left earlier anywho headed to the mall then we're going to miss joyce and i'm going home to finish packing i have like all the clothes lined up i just need to put them in the bag they just gotta go in the bag yeah. All right, y'all. We've arrived at Saks. Okay. Let me put my phone up. I just need to do a return and then um, try to find these belts. I feel like I feel like I just want to do um, like a Celine belt, a skinny Triumph belt, um, if they even have any in here. Um, and yeah, so, excuse me. Hi, good, how are you? Um, is it just online returns here, or can I do in-store purchases? In-store, well? yes. Okay, in should I come well. here or to the back? No, you can do the in-store right here Okay, as perfect. Well. thank you. Um, what size is she? Okay, well that was easy enough. Now, belt hunt. Here's a Selena gray one. Here's the brown one. Um, no. <laughs> It's reversible. What size is this? An 80. I wonder if they have like a 75 though. Hey. Um, I'm so good. How are you? Good. Um, for the belts, is 80 the smallest that this comes in? Uh, usually it's a 70 or a 75. Are you so able small. to see if you have I can check. a smaller size? Thank you. Would you also be able to see if you have this in black? I don't have it in black. I know okay. for sure. So I got both of the belts in a size 70 and the colors that I wanted. The scanner? Yep, that's oh, right. me. Do two separate bags or all you can just throw it all in one. It doesn't have to be cute at all. And I absolutely love this bag, this crossbody. These. Definitely going to be my next bag purchase, I think. And yours one more time? Mary. Mary, thank you so and much. I'm going to text you my digital card cool. if I can help you. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sure. That worked out in such like worked out so well in my favor. Lucky girl syndrome. Thank you, guys. So yeah, I got both the belts that I wanted. Sure. Um, I needed them in a 70 because I'm gonna be wearing them like high waisted, and my waist up top is smaller. So so yeah, so I got them. Now we can head to Miss Joyce and then probably get some food and head home. I think I'm gonna go to Kava. Um so yeah, I think we can go to Kava. I need some sunglasses, my sunglasses. It is bright outside. I feel so weird wearing my sunglasses and then like talking to y'all. I don't know, like I don't like to talk to people with with my sunglasses on. If I'm speaking to someone, I take my sunglasses off. 
don't ask me i don't know it just feels so weird to me also let me know what y'all think about switching from this vlog camera to the little handhelds um while i'm like out and about for me i'm much 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 more comfortable holding that little pocket camera to vlog myself i don't care for it for b-roll although when we were in the coffee shop i feel like i did get some good b-roll footage we'll see but it felt like it was good you know again we'll see um but let me know what y'all are thinking about that this is two vlogs in now using the little the little pocket handheld um and i'm feeling good about it but of course i need y'all to tell me what y'all think so anywho um enough rambling heading to miss joyce i have two pairs of pants and a jumpsuit to pick up from her ready but that's okay i know i always give her like rush stuff so i get it um she told me in like an hour the issue is that i just this is far from me she's not close to me at all so coming all the way up here just isn't practical for me why do i keep exiting out of my backup camera no one i can't see that though um, so we're gonna go to Cava and get some food, go home, finish packing, and hope and pray that um, I can make it back over here because I really need those jeans. Like, I really need those jeans. Um, so yeah. Hi, good, how are you? Oh, thank you, hi. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Yeah, can I do a bowl um, with um, the saffron rice? Just right. We're gonna be, we're gonna eat. <laughs> yeah, can I do um, crazy feta and a little bit of tzatziki? Do you have any tzatziki? Yeah, thank you. You know what, let me also do a little bit of harissa. What are you feeling lately? All right, so my favorite is the harissa chicken. Okay. Can I do half and half? Yeah, yeah let me do that. Thank you. How are you? Good, how are you? Can I do the cucumber tomato the mix? Yeah. Can I also do a little bit of the pickled onions? Um, some Kalamata olives. A little bit of feta. And what is this here? Let's do a little bit of that. That sounds interesting. And then um, can I also do a little of the Greek vinaigrette, like just a tad. Yeah, like a little more. That's good, perfect. And then can I also get the pita chips, please? And a large um, tea or lemonade. Small, oh, large. Yes, please. So I came to Kava and I got me some food and I'm going to eat. I always get the um, cucumber mint lime or whatever. Whatever this is, so good. The brine on it. Top of that. Deep cut. This one here? Fire.